contestants slayed in the final question round. They now get one last chance to impress the selection committee with their final statements. Yeah, that's right. And earlier this week, we challenged the delegates to study hot topic uh, situations, and they'd be prepared to speak on the current events. But for tonight's final statement round, we'll call forward the top five one by one and ask them to pull out a card. And on that card is a random topic that they will then discuss for 30 seconds. Ladies, when your time is up, once again, you'll hear this sound. If that makes sense to you, let's do this. It's time for the final statement. First up, Oklahoma. Please make your selection. Voter suppression. First and foremost, I want to celebrate that the fact that this nation has had the most voter participation in years, and that is worthy of celebration. Uh, to be uh, at the 100 year anniversary of women having the right to vote, being able to exercise my vote, being on a platform where I had a larger reach, I had more eyes and ears paying attention and I could share with them how they can register to vote, where they can go to vote, any information, this is really important. And because our, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Oklahoma. All right, Mississippi, you're up next. gun laws. As someone who grew up in a home with guns, I learned at an early age how to load, how to fire, and gun safety. And I think that education should be available to everyone. I believe that we should require people to pass training and safety courses before they're allowed to purchase a gun and before re um, receiving a permit. I think it's important that we not ban guns because obviously people will find a way to get what they want anyways. But I think it's our second amendment right and we, we just need more safety surrounding that. All right. Thank you, Mississippi. Okay, Indiana, the time is yours. Climate change. As a young girl, I always wanted to travel the world. I wanted to see the barrier reef, the rainforests. Right now, the rainforest and all of the environment is deteriorating. Climate is going up, waters are rising, and natural disasters are happening because of the weather. We need to do something. It starts at home with small acts. If you can't change legislation right away, we need to work at home. Recycle, turn off lights, do your thing. <laughs> I'm ready to do that as Miss Indiana USA, as Miss USA. Thank you, Indiana. All right, three down, two to go. Idaho, pick a topic. Mental health reform. Currently, I believe that we view mental health more from the lens of a disease, and we don't talk about it until it's a problem, when people are suffering from depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts. Instead, we should be shifting our thought or shifting our focus and looking at mental health holistically, incorporating it into our general health care and normalizing conversations, especially with kids, so that they grow up knowing that it's okay to not be okay. Thank you, Idaho. Alabama, step right up. Prison reform. As a first year law student, I'm currently learning all about our legal system, our criminal justice system, and our prison system, which has huge flaws in it. We are not preparing prisoners for life outside of prison. We are sending them back out into the world with a 40% chance that they will return on a nonviolent crime. We need to be preparing prisoners to succeed and to be better members of society outside of prison. Thank you, Alabama. Wow, I tell you, any of those five women would make a great Miss USA. 
coming up, they'll each have one last chance to make an impression in the final look. You don't want to miss it.